Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to an Exo Force review, and this one's on the Aero Booster from 2007. So I'll start off with the only mini thing you get in this set. And so now, so this the only mini thing you get in this set being Hayato. And this version of which kind, which does appear in some of the other sets uh, throughout this throughout this year of Axel Force, like face print, hair piece, all the same. But towards the printing done quite good, but nothing which exclusive to this month. There's the back side, which no back torso printing, and also the same double side face as in other sets. Now with now it's kind of odd is how he's like the only the mini thing in this set. All the way, which we could have gotten something a little extra, like another Devastator robot or even Hitomi or whatever. But maybe that's just me. But yeah, and that's about it with him. So now on to one bit of the Aero Booster itself. So this is just one half of the arrow booster. So now, from first glance, looks just about like some of the other uh, small $10 mechs that were also in the line. That were kind of similar built to this, but with plenty of stuff going on. But so like for the for the legs, which, which, as you see, the foot piece is just regular Toamata, uh, Bionicle Toamata, and Vaki uh, foot pieces, but in gray, but also with a sticker on them, probably to know that it's for something in Axel Force. Have the slopes there, but with different stickers on both of them. It would be A.12 for something. And then upper section, just tighten a bit to a hand connector leading to the hip part. And then on to, to the center canopy section, which as you can see, also similar to some of those uh, smaller mechs, of course, but also the same exact uh, canopy type of piece there, but with an exclusive sticker on it, and also a sticker, and also this tile that has a coat on it that leads to something on the Exoforce website, which is no longer valid, of course. But aside from that, like the others, you can flip right forward. And, and of course, enough room to fit Hayato into, of course. And fits well over him. And, and of course, all of them, but it's not on there. And also have couples, large uh, jagged slopes with stickers on the sides for that. Also like one of the other mechs, of course. But as for the arms of which, not at all any accessories to add into them. Just with the uh, Devastator robot kind of fingers to them. But, but the only thing they're holding on to are these long tubes that go into the sides of it. And as for the back side, as you can see, it just... Not a whole lot of nothing for that, but except for, for one little technical hole in there that will work with the other build a little later. But yeah, and that's it with the back part of it. And on to the arrow booster itself, which from first glance quite massive. Like this, oh wait, hang on. So like this front section of which, as you see, does have a Technic uh, rod bit sticking out for that, but I'll show what that does later. But also, as you can see, does have a couple of sticker kind of pieces, or large curved slope-like pieces, but with large stickers on both of them, like 8.12 to match up with the Mini Mac. And in the center is a spring-loaded 
did this a lot uh, which I'll show later but on the side which as you can see has one of the traditional uh, Mac limb pieces throughout the line and also this large cannon on the arm with a few like, paragon bells made of the uh, uh, support pieces with green studs on them, and also those blaster pieces from classic space lines, but in black. Nice to see. Yeah. And onto the other one of which, which is comprised of mostly a wheel piece and a jacket and a curved slope on there and a pair of astromite droid heads on the sides. You can see a long rod that goes out into with the a few rounded bricks on there and go into a pair of red bits there. And of course, although with this one can detach it right off, of course, but the other which can't do so. Kind of weird how that is. And these are which do have the three points of movement or points of articulation. And swivel, and swivel up and down and outwards. And as for large jet engine kind of pieces. Three large ones right there, and also large uh, slope pieces on there with stickers on them, and also really long slopes that are also with a sticker on the sides, of course, and also some more of those fin pieces like we saw on Stealth Hunter and some others. And from the back side, you get pretty much just three of these jet engine kind of pieces like we saw on the Thunder Fury and uh, Sly Phantom and some others but instead of a uh, silver and black mix it's a silver and blue mix kind of interesting how that is but at least they uh, which so at least that kind of nice for mocking and also had kind of large inverted slopes underneath there but unlike with Whereas both the outer ones have large hollow space to them, but at least they went all together, which kind of well hidden the hollowness. And onto one of the main features with this is get one of the missiles and load up in there. And of course, with some technic working bits in it where you can pull on the uh, curved brick on here and chew it off like so. And of course, just gotta love these, those kind of launchers. Same with the sprinkler launchers, of course. Yeah. And to the other main feature is that with the, with one hole on here and the rod on here, you can like, slide them up right on and all fully loaded all set and loaded it's ready to like fly really quickly across around Sentai Mountain of course just there and so now on to the final verdict Overall, this is which a quite cool set for how it is. Like, do you get two little b large builds in this this one? And also, of course, representative of some anime mechs that there are. And also, and also the n nice way to include Hayato in another set, of course. <clears throat> but also a good consistent color scheme of red, white, and blue with some slight black to it. <laughs> Kind of close to that of the American flag and then a couple other flags. But aside from that, this is kind of a good sign for the times. Like for the forty, for the like forty dollars or so it was back in two thousand seven, got plenty of good stuff for that. But also, kind of along with that, uh, Hayato is the only mini fig in this set. If I really go, at least could have included like a second, like a little smaller mech with a. Devastator robot in that for him to fight up against, but or maybe that would have been a little much and drive the price up a bit, but yeah. 
but I can still forgive that. But also good to have the large turbine pieces in with blue and whatnot. So at least, but also play that playability of which get plenty of that in this set. But yeah. And so now if you're looking to, so now if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set. I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.